This is Info Live TV headline news, August 10th. I'm Daniel Ben Nun. The White House warned Russia on Sunday to halt its attacks on Georgia or risk significant and enduring damage to its relationship with the United States. Russia expanded its bombing blitz against Georgia as Georgian troops pulled out of the contested province of South Ossetia under heavy Russian shelling. The pullout followed three days of intense fighting between Russian and Georgian troops in which both sides fought over control of the pro-Russian enclave. The Sunday Times reported that the senior aide to Syrian President Bashar Assad, who was assassinated last weekend, was in charge of supplying Hezbollah with advanced anti-aircraft weaponry. According to the report, Brigadier General Mohammed Suleiman had provided the guerrilla group with advanced Syrian anti-aircraft missiles. Such missiles could potentially challenge the Israeli Air Force reconnaissance flights, which are currently conducted unhindered over Lebanon. Hundreds of Palestinians and Hamas supporters demonstrated on Sunday near the Rafah border crossing between Egypt and the Gaza Strip. The protesters, including Palestinian Parliament Chairman Ahmed Bahar, called on Cairo to open the terminal. Some 500 Egyptian policemen were sent to the border for fear that it would be breached. According to the demonstrators, a number of Palestinians have died in recent days after being unable to cross into Egypt to receive medical treatment. Renowned Palestinian poet Mahmoud Darwish's family said on Sunday that they would like to see him laid to rest in the western Galilee village of Al-Jadida. The Palestinian Authority, however, plans to bury him in the West Bank city of Ramallah after holding the equivalent of a state funeral for him on Tuesday. Darwish died on Saturday evening at the age of 67 after undergoing open-heart surgery in Houston, Texas. Darwish will always be remembered as the national poet of the Palestinian people. Two Israeli swimmers, Guy Barnea and Nimrod Shapira Bar-On, secured semifinal spots in the 2008 Olympic Games on Sunday. Shapira Bar-On came in first in the 200-meter qualifier, breaking a national record at the same time. Barnea secured a place in the semifinal for the 100-meter backstroke, coming in fourth in the qualifier and also breaking a national record. Israeli swimmer Anja Gostomelsky also broke a national record on Sunday in the 100-meter backstroke qualifier. Thank you for watching Info Live TV, Israel's only internet television network that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.